you are very likely using GitHub and the GitHub Actions as the code repository and CI/CD, And those two are the most popular ones in the entire world. And if you're using them, you're, you might have a question, how do I keep my sensitive data secured when I use CI/CD? GitHub team did come up with a solution for it, and it's called GitHub Secrets. And on this video, I will show you how to set up and use GitHub Secrets so you could keep your sensitive data stored in a safe place by utilizing best practices on a market. But I will do it only for those kind of folks who will hit this big fat thumb up button below, subscribe to our channel, and also follow the links to our Instagram and the Telegram communities right here. But let me quickly introduce myself in case you're new here. My name is Sergey Kromchenko, and I'm a software QA engineer, lead manager, and a senior engineer manager of SDAT in the past. But these days, I'm helping people like you to become a QA engineer or machine learning specialist from scratch or to improve your existing skills. Just like this guy who was 18 or this girl who was 40, 50 plus. All right, let's get started. I'll show you an example on Playwright Test Automation Framework. It doesn't really matter what you're going to use, if it's going to be some testing framework or the entire Node.js app or any other, any other languages or frameworks. The goal is to get this secured data to GitHub secrets and utilize them so, they would, so this data would be secured and not visible for anyone else. So first of all, I'm going to show an example that this works and how it works on my local, and we're going to make it work also on Origin in CI CD by utilizing GitHub Secrets. So first of all, I'm going to show you that we're going to be running the test. It's simply going to navigate to the home page, which comes from Playwright Config right here. And the base URL is coming from the process env, which means we do have .env file, and we, that's the place where we store all of our data, and secure data or sensitive data. And we're not going to ever push this data to GitHub. We're going to keep it on our local and also keep it in GitHub, GitHub secrets. So first of all, let's make sure it runs all local the way I've specified it. npx playwright, playwright ghtt test example. So it would run only one, this, this one file right here. Excellent. We're running it and the test is passing. Excellent. And by the way, guys, if you've never installed Test Automation Framework from scratch, I'm going to share a video right here where you will see how to install it completely from scratch so you could get to this point. All right. Now I'm going to go and create a remote repository. And if you guys don't have an account on a GitHub, simply register one and navigate to this URL or just go to, go to repositories and click create new. I'm going to call this one secrets and that's going to be public so you guys could actually see it on your own if you ever need. I'm going to create this repo. Excellent. And by the way, guys, if you want to learn more completely for free about QA or about machine learning, we're hosting webinars for one day or for one week on a monthly basis. I'm going to leave links right below this video. Let's continue enjoying this GitHub Secrets video. Now let's follow the process and quickly and quickly add everything. So you can follow th these instructions, but I'll show how to do it a little quicker. We don't have to create any file because we already have our code here. I'm going to say git in it that I'm going to say git add dot to add everything. But before you guys do that, make sure that in a git ignore, you have dot env file, which means that this file will never ever be pushed to repo remote repository. Git commit minus m first commit and git push, right? Excellent. So we're pushing and well, it's going to be a little bit different because we have to, before we push it, we have to add remote, we have to connect our local repo with the remote repo and push it now. I'm going to run this code and push it to origin master branch. All right, great, that was pushed. Now let's look into it. As soon as we push the code, we should see GitHub Actions run. And you can see it either here by clicking this pending and then clicking details, 
or you can navigate to actions and see your run here. If you've never had experience with GitHub Actions, I'm going to attach a video right here where you will be able to install GitHub Actions completely from scratch with a playwright, by the way. So now this test is going to run, but it will fail and I do know that because we didn't we didn't specify we didn't add our secrets yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on settings. Let's click on scroll down secrets and variables and then actions as we're going to specify it for actions and let's add a new repository secret. And I'm going to add base URL here. You guys can add whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to add what I have to pass in order to make my application work. And you can add your API key, your admin email, password, URL, token, whatever you would like. And the actual value you paste here without any quotes on each side and anything else. This is going to be the name you're going to add. This is going to be the value. As soon as you hit add secret, this information is gone. You can never ever see it again. If you try to edit it, boom, the value is empty. So no one, even if they gain access to your GitHub repo, they will not be able to see your base URL anymore, but it's stored and secured in GitHub secrets. And now the name for it is base URL and we can simply pull it through our workflow file or YAML file. Okay, I'm going to show you where do you need to add data so it would be used just as you have in .env file. You go to your workflow and upon the job where you go to, you're right below the test, right above the steps, I would say. It's going to specify a global level when you say it here. And you say ENV, it's going to be key, you hit enter and it's going to be, now you're going to specify the value, which is going to be a key value pair. And our name is base URL. So whatever you specify right here is going to be used as it is in your ENV. So make sure to put the same name as you have right here. So that's what I'm going to do. And the value is going to be, now we're going to be pulling it from secrets. So we have to, we have to put dollar sign and double, double curly brace. That means it's a, it's a GitHub variable. And we're going to pull the value from secrets mm, dot GitHub token. Oh, hold on. That's something from the past. No, it's going to be base URL. Excellent. Secrets base URL. Excellent. Now that means we're going to be pulling that from the place where we have just added it right here. So I'm, I'm going to go to actions. I'll make sure that we did fail before. Now, what we simply need to do is get check the status, get add uh, GitHub, or you can do get add dot if you know what that is for. And then get commit minus M, we're going to say update workflow to pull keys from GitHub secrets. Now we're going to push it simply to origin. And as soon as we push it and refresh this page, we will see another workflow running right here, another run. And I'm going to pause the video right here and I'm going to play it as soon as this run is over. 2000 years later. Excellent, it worked. Awesome, that was easy. And by the way, nothing is difficult if you know how to do it. And if you guys wanna learn more, simply subscribe to our channel and you will get free videos on a weekly basis just like this one. Or if you wanna learn more about how to become a software QA automation engineer from scratch or a machine learning specialist, I'm going to leave links for you right below this video. Now get some water, get some workout and get a really good rest. I'll see you on the next video.